LazyWall Online Configurator What are the advantages of the LazyWall Online Configurator? A completely new interface An ability to localize the application into any language The fast and secure installation of the application from the Microsoft Store Automatic updates A convenient menu of settings of performance characteristics of LazyTag equipment An ability to quickly change the parameters of the upcoming game Reading statistics in real time and displaying them on the screen. What can I do using the configurator? With the help of the configurator, you can quickly and flexibly customize the game settings before each game and instantly load them into laser tag equipment. Update the firmware of the taggers and change the standard tagger sound effects to your own. Change the upcoming round parameters. Distribute players among the teams according to their wishes or randomly, thus diversifying the gameplay. Broadcast game statistics right during the game. Publish statistics in social networks like Facebook. What are the technical requirements of the software? You can see the technical requirements on your screen. Please pause the video to learn more about the specs. How to install the application? You can get the application in the official Microsoft Store. Log into the store, enter LazyWall in the search bar and install the configurator. The application is updated automatically. So what is the LazyWall configurator of the 10th generation of equipment? In the central part of the general window, the main sections of the LazyWall online configurator are presented. Let's start with the settings. The first setting is language. If you need to translate the interface into other languages, please request a special file with language information. The file can be integrated into the application. In this way, the configurator can work in any language you want. You can request a special file for the application localization from the technical support service. You can also change the background image in the application, for example, set the club logo. To do that, Click the Choose button in the background parameter and specify the path to the file. You can enable or disable the display of the upper laser or logo. You can open the application page in the Microsoft Store and set the maximum waiting interval for taggers. The new section allows you to go to the official website, provided you have an internet connection. The website contains new information about the latest events in the world of laser tag. This section is intended for changing the parameters of the Wi-Fi network to which you connect the equipment. A Wi-Fi router is required to establish communication with the taggers. How do I set up a network connection? To work with the LazyWall online configurator, we recommend to use Xiaomi Wi-Fi routers, as they are used by our specialists to test the software and the operation of LazyWall equipment. You can buy an already configured router at LazyWall. If you buy a router from a third-party store, you will need to configure it. Note that the router comes with Chinese firmware. You can change the interface language by using an inbuilt translation function. In order to connect to the router, you need to log in to the Wi-Fi network and enter the password. By default, the Wi-Fi network name and password are the same for the non-configured router. Xiaomi MAC address numbers. You can also establish a cable connection and enter data in the address bar of the browser. 192.168.31.1 Next, please set network parameters. The following parameters are set by default. The network name LazyWall underscore net Encryption Without encryption Password Without a password You can specify your own individual network name. In this case, don't forget to change the settings of the taggers. Connect to the established Wi-Fi network Start the application. If all settings are correct, X generation taggers will automatically connect to the network and they will be available in the LazyWall online configurator. If you have performed the above steps to set up your Wi-Fi network, there is no need to perform any further steps in the network settings section of the LazyWall online configurator. If you have changed the name of your network to individual, you'll need a Bluetooth adapter. Open the Network Settings section by clicking on the icon of the same name in the center of the main configurator window. Here is the selection field for the Bluetooth adapter to connect to laser tag equipment and below there is a list of connected game sets. For each of the taggers, specify the Wi-Fi network name and password you used to set up the router and save the settings. How to set up the performance characteristics? 
In the left part of the window, there is a list of game characters, one for each connected game set of laser tag equipment. Click on the character's avatar to view or change its settings. It's displayed at the top of the window. Next to it, you'll see the tagger signal level as well as the handband charge level. Next to the character name, there is an icon of the weapon, which will be used in the statistics. To change the icon, press the left and right buttons next to the type of the weapon. A unique tagger serial number is displayed under the weapon class name. It allows you to track the entire history of the equipment since its purchase. Nearby is the firmware version of the Wi-Fi XCOM module and the tagger. To update the firmware of the tagger, download the file in JSON format from the firmware update section on the official website laserwood.com. In the configurator, click the appropriate button and specify the path to the downloaded file. You can adjust the following parameters. Player ID, the identifier of the game set. In order for the statistics to be read correctly, each player's ID must be unique. The statistics are read properly during a game of 512 players in four teams. Team. The team's color. The color changes each time you press it. As a rule, we have from two to four teams of different colors – red, blue, yellow, green. If the colors of the game sets don't match or the friendly fire mode is activated, the damage specified in the damage field will be dealt when the shot is fired. Health points. The number of health points from 1 to 999. Friendly fire. The mode in which you can hit a teammate. Invulnerability duration. The time allotted to the player to hide after a hit. When activated, the player cannot shoot and cannot be eliminated. The range is from off to 30 seconds. Shock duration. The total time of LED glow and headband vibration when the player is hit. At this time, the player can't make shots. The parameter is set in the range from off to 1 minute and 5 seconds. Regeneration period. If this parameter is enabled, the player recovers 10 health points in the selected period of time without using a first aid kit until his health reaches 100%. The permissible range is 0 to 4 minutes and 15 seconds. To disable the setting, select 0. Auto revival duration. By default, this parameter is off. When the player loses all health points, a virtual death occurs and the player must find a first aid kit for animation purposes. You can set the time after which the player recovers all health points and returns to the game without a first aid kit. To do that, specify the auto-resurrection time in the following range. Bleeding period. Choose the frequency at which the player with the activated bleeding mode loses 10% of his health points until the virtual death occurs or the bleeding is stopped. Cartridges by revival. Possibility of automatic recovery of ammo during a reanimation. By default, the parameter is disabled. During reanimation, only health is restored. The brightness of the LEDs on the headband. Damaged glow color. The color of the LEDs on the headband when a player is hit. To configure the weapon settings, fill in the fields on the right side of the window. Clips. Number of clips. Number of additional magazines. The parameter is set in the range from 0 to 255. Cartridges. Cartridges in the clip. Number of cartridges in one magazine. It's recommended to set a value that corresponds to the actual performance characteristics of a particular weapon. Fire rate. Shots per minute. The imitation of the fire speed of the real weapon. From slow sniper rifles to rapid machine guns. Damage. The amount of damage in health points dealt by a weapon when an enemy is hit. With the help of the differentiated damage, a change of the shot force parameter, it's possible to bring the performance characteristics of the game set closer to those of its real prototype. Range from 1 to 100. Reload duration. The range is from 1 second to 4 minutes and 15 seconds. Auto reload mode. If this parameter is on, the game set will be reloaded automatically as soon as the cartridges in the magazine run out. Overheating. With the number of shots fired before the barrel overheating. Intense shooting triggers the overheating of the barrel. This effect makes the shot quieter. The shot itself and its elimination disappear. The player must wait a few seconds for the barrel to cool down. The loud sound comes back and you can keep fighting. The higher the rate of fire and the higher the capacity of the magazine, the higher the temperature of the barrel in real weapons. 
the parameter is set in the range from 0 to 255. If the parameter is larger than the number of cartridges in the magazine, the overheating effect is disabled. If you set the value to 0, then the first shot will overheat the weapon, so the setting should be set to a higher value. According to research in the real Kalashnikov assault rifle, the overheating of the barrel occurs when more than two magazines are shot during a short period of time. Infrared power. The higher the parameter value, the higher the range. But there is an increased likelihood of ricochets. Silencer mode. When on, the sound of the tagger hit becomes the same as if a silencer was used. Otherwise, the sound of the hit will be normal. Idle period. The time of inactivity of the game set, after which the alarm sounds. It helps instructors a lot and saves the batteries from a deep discharge if you forget to turn off the power in the equipment. The time to the signal is set from 0 to 4 hours and 15 minutes. Vibration mode. The equipment vibration mode when game events occur. When on events is selected, the vibration will be triggered when the player is hit. When on shots is selected, the vibration is triggered by a shot from the tagger. If both values are selected, the vibration in the equipment is triggered in either of those cases. Volume of shooting. It's not recommended to raise the volume too high to make the speakers last longer. The optimal value is 70%. Volume. The sound volume of game events. Don't raise the volume too high as well. Sensor mode. The parameter determines the necessity to activate or deactivate the heat sensor in the tagger. Available if there is a heat sensor in the tagger. Off, inactive. Break. The weapon has been damaged. Damage. The player has been hit. Reloading mode. If enabled, reloading mode can be set in the game lobby. Break period. The time during which the tagger is deactivated when the heat sensor has been shot at. The heat sensor function should be enabled. How to customize the sounds. Here you can find out about the standard sound effects used in laser tag equipment from Laser War, as well as record your own sounds in the taggers. The sound package tab contains 18 different presets. Select the set of sounds you need. In this case, only the ticked effects will be overwritten and press the next button. The program will search for the connected taggers and display them in the search window. Select the taggers which sounds you would like to change. Click Upload. You can record your own sounds in taggers. They must meet the requirements that are displayed on the screen. Since all sounds are re-recorded, this process will take a long time. Remember to deselect sounds that don't require re-recording to save time. How do I set up a new game and run it? To go directly to the settings for the upcoming round, press Start. This opens a pre-start lobby window, in which you can quickly distribute players among the teams and change the colors of the teams. If the Wi-Fi connection is set up correctly, all changes are instantly applied. All connected game sets are available at the bottom of the pre-start lobby. They are shown as avatars. You can add a player to your team manually by dragging him or her to the desired area. You can also randomly assign players to teams by clicking on the Mix button. You can use the down arrows to remove all players from the team. You can also distribute the selected players according to the color of their team using the special button on the right side of the screen. And by clicking on the left-right arrows, you can switch players. The team icons of the corresponding colors are displayed at the top. By default, the colors are distributed randomly among the teams, but they can be changed manually by clicking on the circle of the corresponding color next to the team icon. You can easily rename a player by clicking on his name. After the players are distributed among the teams, you can see additional information on each tagger, ID, the battery charge of the weapon and headband, the quality of online communication. Also, by scrolling over the team icons, you can set the duration of the game and the time before the start, which is provided to the players to take up positions. The recommended round time is 15 minutes. The time before the start of the game can be set to zero, in which case the game will start immediately after pressing the start button. Additional options for the upcoming round can be flexibly changed before the start of the game. To do it, press the parameters button in the upper part of the window. Friendly Fire – the mode in which you can hit a teammate. 
Weapon Infrared Receiver Mode If the center of the tagger is hit, the weapon of the player takes damage. Headband Brightness in percentage. Hit color. Save by reloading. If switched on, the required number of cartridges is added to the maximum number of cartridges remaining in the magazine. If switched off, the cartridges left in the magazine disappear when reloading. The magazine will be fully reloaded. Vampire Mode The possibility of a revival in the opponent's team. By default, this parameter is disabled. During the virtual death, the player must run to his team's respawn. Statistics Display Delay the next parameter is required if all players don't fit on the same statistics screen, for example when more than 20 people play the game. The way the players are displayed will be changed at specific intervals, and the guests will have time to see the statistics. Here you can also select the background in the lobby and the background in the statistics. You can adjust the number of points per action as well. You can always reset these settings. The set parameters are saved in the game scenarios, which are available in the upper part of the pre-start lobby. The settings are saved automatically for the currently selected scenario. This way you can set up a convenient set of scenarios and quickly switch between them before the start of the round. Some scenarios change the number of teams taking part in the round. To view the team list in scenarios with more than two teams, scroll the mouse wheel down. Otherwise, the only difference between scenarios is the name and round settings that you set in the settings panel. To start the game, click the Start button at the bottom of the pre-start lobby window. You will see the window of game statistics and in the upper right corner a countdown of the allotted game time. You can duplicate the signal from the monitor to the large TV. To interrupt the ongoing game, click the stop button at the bottom of the statistics window. When the round time expires, the stop button disappears, and after viewing the statistics you can return to the lobby using the back button in the upper left corner. To view the statistics of the last game, go to the section Last Game, organize players according to the parameters and share the statistics in the social networks like Facebook. What if I still have questions? If you have any questions regarding the operation of the Laser War Online Configurator, please contact the technical support team by the phones and email addresses that you see on the screen. Have a good game!